What's up everyone? Here we are with my week three check-in now. We are on day 21 of my cut and you know this week's been pretty great. Um, about the only disappointment this week has been that I haven't been consistent with my workouts but my my diet has been on point. My, my nutrition has been. I've been hitting my calorie goal each day really high in my protein goal this week as well. My steps have been out of this world, uh, insanely high compared to normal. I set a goal of 10,000 steps per day, but I've been blowing that number out of the water. Um, but my workouts, I think I've only worked out a couple, two, three, four days this week. As opposed to my, I usually shoot for six days a week. I just like to work out that often. You don't need to work out that often, but I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, everything's been going real well. Uh, this week, it's been a good one. But uh, I thought I, I wanted to show you guys because I talk about how, you know, you need to do these these little things, you know, eat better, uh, move more to over a long period of time. So doing them a day at a time, that's great and everything. But whenever we mess up every couple days, uh, if it's happening super often to you, that can throw your progress off if it's happening too often. Once every once in a while is not that big of a deal it's not going to destroy your progress but if you only do like a couple days on plan and then you go and eat way overboard that is going to be often enough to throw your throw your progress out the window so what i like to do for me is i don't look at it uh, mainly on a day-to-day -day basis i do but i have an overall weekly um view of everything and i do that using a spreadsheet uh, that I also use with my online clients. I wanted to show you guys that because I think it's super cool. It gives you, you input your numbers from every day and it gives you an average at the end of the week of how you did. And as long as that weekly average matches the numbers that you are shooting for, then you did great. You did wonderful. There's, you know, there's nothing you need to adjust there. So I wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, so I'm gonna flip this camera. Here we are. Okay, so I just have this on my Google Drive. It's nothing special, but as you can see here, I've got the dates over here on the left. I uh, record my weight, the number of calories. Uh, I do track my protein. I don't really care so much about my carbs and fats, but I go ahead and put them in there anyway because they're already in my fitness pal. Uh, my sleep, I would track more, but uh, my watch battery uh, isn't that great so I put it on the charger every night I wouldn't mind starting to track that but I need a better watch for it or something else to track it um, but I do pretty good in my sleep so I'm not worried about that my sleep has never really been an issue uh, maybe when I was really overweight like I had some sleep apnea but I would still get my you know num my hours of sleep no problem I've always been I love sleeping so uh, then if I strength trained or not and how many steps I got in for that week now as far as for my clients go Obviously, they've they've got a I've got a section over here for them where they can leave other notes But they fill this out every day for me put in their numbers and then it gives me down here It takes a average for the whole week so I can look at my weight because I weigh in every morning and uh at the end of the week, it gives me an average of what I was weighing at. So if I had a cheat day or something or an off plan meal to where my weight was higher for a couple days, it's going to take that into account, but it's not going to completely destroy it. And as long as that weekly number, since I am in a fat loss uh, uh, kind of phase right now to where I'm, I'm striving for fat loss, that's my goal. That's what I'm look, working towards. As long as that number each week is going down, then I'm doing good. Um, same with my calories. My calorie goal is to be between uh, 1,800 and 2,000 calories. And I like to, like I've said before, I like to give myself that little bit of a leeway so that I can, let's go ahead and flip you around here since you've already seen it. I like to give myself that little bit of a leeway uh, for, for extra snacking. I shoot for that 1,800, um, but if I want to snack a little bit more, I have a couple hundred extra calories to play around with for that day. And uh, my protein, as long as I'm, I shoot for 200, I know I don't need that many 200 um, because, you know, we all say the, the one gram per pound of body weight, even lean body weight, uh, but and my lean body weight would probably be under 200 anyway. So even with that, but 200, I like, I like the, uh, I like meat, but uh, so I enjoy my protein sources a lot. Uh, and then 
The other uh, big thing on here is my strength training. So it'll tell me kind of a percentage of how often I am strength training. Um, so like last week I did, not this previous week, the pre week before, 71% uh, of the time of the days. So I worked out five out of seven days. And then this week has been a lot lower. Um, let me mark this here. I did get today's workout in. So I'm sitting at 43%. I worked out three times this week, three days out of seven. So that can really be improved. Like that's still good for most people. I just really enjoy working out though. So I, I feel, you know, like it, it's, that's not a good number for me. I want it to be higher, but you don't have to, uh, by any means, getting three days a week is amazing for most people out there. And you can grow muscle, you can maintain muscle, all that on three days a week, no biggie. And then my steps, like I was saying, I usually shoot for 10,000 steps a day. Um, I haven't gotten, obviously, today's steps finished yet and logged in here. Um, so right now, with the first six days of the week, I am sitting at uh, 17,400 plus steps per day on average. That's gonna go up a little bit because I still have to work tonight, so my watch doesn't reset the steps until midnight, and I'm already just shy of 20,000 steps for the day. So that's gonna be, that's gonna help bring that number up a bit. So I've been blowing that one out of the water. And what this does is just tells me, so if I have a bad day, so for example, I had a day where I did only get, which this is still good because I met my goal, I only got 10,300 steps. But then I had another day where I got 27,000 steps. So they kind of average together and that helps make, bring that number up. So if I had a day where, you know, I, I hit 6,000 steps, every day I hit 10,000, but there were two days, one I hit 6,000 and one I hit 14,000. Well, those are gonna average out to 10,000. So I know I did good for the week. So as long as you're, you're doing well overall for a long period of time. For me, I measure that by week. And uh, as long as every week you're doing well, month, whatever, however often you wanna do it. You know, you're meeting your numbers on average, you're going to be moving in the right direction. You're going to be progressing towards reaching those goals that you've set for yourself, whatever they might be. Mine is fat loss right now. I wanna lose weight because I put on some weight over this last Oh, let's see what happened. So I got down to 199 um, in 20, the beginning of 2021. So I started my journey in 2020. By 2021, I was down to 199. And that's from 290 down to 199 in one year. And then I kept working out consistently and I kind of kept tracking my food, but I let myself really start having, uh, indulging in my cravings with the sugary sweets and the extra meals with the family and stuff, pizza, burgers, things like that. And over the course of the next year to year and a half, I got back up to 250 again. So I did an eight week challenge with a supplement company and that eight weeks cut myself back down. I think I lost 40 pounds in that eight weeks. I got back down to 210. And then again, I, you know, was letting myself, I was doing good. I would track during the day. I would stick to my plan during the day. Workouts are consistent. And at the end uh, of the night, I would indulge in my sugar cravings and have usually a great big bowl of ice cream. I'll show you sometime because I still have them every now and then once every week or two. And I love, they're overboard. We'll, we'll show you, we'll show you. But uh, I was doing that every night. So the weight got back up recently to 230 and that's what started this cut is I was like, man, I just want, I, I haven't been lean yet. Um, and by lean, I don't mean like, I wanna get single digit body fat, maybe one day down the road if that's ever a goal of mine. But right now I just wanna get to where I, you know, take, if I take my shirt off, and I'm not taking my shirt off for a bunch of people, I'm just not that kind of person, but for myself, I wanna be able to look at myself in the mirror and be able to tell, you know, that I can, that I lift. I've got a lot of this extra body fat over everything I've built this last few years. And I think a lot of people probably feel that way. So I wanna get leaner, I wanna get down to like 15, 15% 15 body fat, um, even 20 right now, but 15 is like what I wanna get down to and see what that looks like. And so now I'm, I'm cutting back down. So I was at 232 on my first weigh-in at this, and that was after a cheat day, because this doesn't include the first week of my cut. 
I didn't I didn't start actually logging everything in my spreadsheet the first week. So I just put it um, in there the second week and now the third week. So the first week I was sitting at like 2.30 when I first started. And then I lost, you know, a few pounds that first week. But then I had a, that date with Lacey where we went to Big Shots and Black Sheep. And then I had dessert that night, a big bowl of ice cream. And I uh, was back up to 2.32 the next day. Got back down to the, at, by the end of that week. Um, back down to 227.5, averaged it at 229. And this week, I have uh, didn't put on as much weight on my untracked meal at 229, and I'm down to 223. So the weekly average this week is 225.5. So in this week, I've lost three and a half pounds on average for the whole week. That's how I can look at that. I take the weekly average, 229 last week, 225.5 this week. I've lost three and a half pounds. So... And it's super helpful to look at it that way. But, and I've been doing these videos on social media so I can, uh, really they're just accountability logs, diaries for me to just talk about how my day went. And that's been super helpful as well. Just being able to get on here, talk to the camera, share it with you all. That's uh, been really helpful. So I'm gonna keep, keep going at this. I'm sure I've got a long cut ahead of me because at 2.23, you know, even if I'm losing, we'll say two pounds a week for a while until I get down to one pound. But at two pounds a week, that's going to still take me the next 10 weeks to get down to just 200. 10, 11, 12 weeks, something like that, just to get to 200. And I've been to 200 before in this journey. And it's not necessarily as lean as I want to be. So I'm thinking I need to get down to 180 or 190 or 180 maybe, maybe 185. Well, we'll see. We're gonna play it by ear, uh, and this is gonna be a long haul. So hope you guys like hearing from me because you're gonna get a lot more of these videos. And uh, yeah, if you want any help, you know, trying to figure some stuff out, shoot me a message and I'll answer any questions you've got to the best of my ability. I don't know everything, but I, I know a fair amount. I've been through this journey, and this time, this time I'm doing really well. About uh, my cravings aren't that bad. They're there. Who, who's cutting out, counting calories, dieting, whatever, and isn't having cravings to some point? But I will say with my meal plans I'm on right now, I'm doing real well with it. The cravings are not so bad, so I'm not struggling. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling full most of the time. But uh, yeah, just find something that works for you. Stick to it for a very long period of time. Measure your progress too. That, that's another thing. Just like I'm doing right here. Measure it. Find somewhere, write it down with your nutrition, with your workouts. You're not going to progress if you don't know where you're at. So figure out where you're at. Keep logging it. Keep a diary, a journal, a log, something, and uh, measure it from there. So I'm going to go get ready for work tonight because my day's just starting. Got my walk in, got my workout in. Now I got to go get ready for work because I work the night shift. So that's going to be fun. Wish me luck there. And you all have a great week and a great evening, great day. We'll talk to you guys in the next video.